know that it's not all food. Now you're going to introduce us to this unique individual that does pottery. Yes, part of our tour um, is, well, when you eat, you use pottery, you, you use plates. And we thought it was important uh, for us to introduce a one of the most famous um, pottery uh, artists that we have here. And they make, he makes these wonderful uh, dishes that you can use to, in your house. And um, we're going to see how he works and um, his inspiration in Andean um, history to make this dishes. It's an interpretation of an owl, because sometimes I don't get the shape, the right shape of the animal, but I try to get the spirit of the animal in my work. So now in this in this owl, I I know the owls because I have many animals here uh, because my son study veterinarian and he rescue the injured animals and we cure them. So I know a lot of the spirit of the falcons, the eagles, the macaws. We prepare this paint with uh, mineral oxide. This clay, when it's fire, it has a type of orange color. The orange color is because the clay has inside iron oxide. The iron oxide is what gives the orange color. So I get some clay and I put different mineral oxides. Cobalt to get blue, manganese to get black, uh, uh, copper oxide to get green. So I, I paint or I prepare those, those mineral oxides and I develop different type of recipes to make my color. We prepare our clay, we prepare our colors, uh, we make almost all our materials that we use to to work. And she's working um, some small plates for coffee cups. She's just making one style on, in the design that we work. This, in this case, with a sponge. Uh, first, he's painting with a brush, and now he's putting a sponge. Um, then maybe they are going to make some designs inside. Part of my art is I get the shape of the animal and I design inside the landscape, landscape I use as a, as a frame the inside of, a, of my shapes. That was amazing and surprised me very much to find that they use molds. So I learned to do the pieces in the same way that they did it, but first they made a sculpture. I did it these sculptures. The mold is to put clay all over, get the shape, and then we get the molds we fire, and after that, we press the clay into the mold. And this piece is coming out from the mold. And I am working on this piece now. What I feel is I have rescued some art that was kind of lost. I only wanted to do a piece in the same way that the ancient cultures did. it. And after that, I need to create my own expression. But in a way, I am giving continuity. I feel that I am giving continuity. And I have rescued an art that was lost in the times. Hey, don't go any...